Hey, how's your new flame, uh, that hot mama from Police Force? You have the right to remain silent, so... Yeah, it's not funny, okay? Tell me, was it the uniform, Dr. Ramsey, or the uh, handcuffs that got you? Okay. Now, the officer in question hasn't even returned my phone call, so the whole thing is just done. Since when do you take no for an answer? It's clear she was never interested. What can I do? I'm here. What's what's going on? Lucy, I don't think you should open this candle shop with Allison. Why not? Because I don't think those candles are as harmless as you think. How could you do that? I mean, you've destroyed everything that Rebecca left me. All of her candles and her recipes and everything. You had no right. You know why, Allison. I don't want what happened to me to happen to you, too. I keep telling you, this is not like Caleb. The, the candles, they're, they're just candles, Livy. Then why do you have to recite spells to make whoa, whoa, them, Allison? What spell? What oh, you God, Jack, you should have seen it. All these little incantations from God knows where, hell most likely. Rebecca's not a witch. And her candles are not dangerous. Livy, you've proved your point. No, not yet, I haven't. <sighs> Don't you touch that. You rang. Grab a seat, wise guy. You have an idea why I called you in? Oh, let me guess. You want me to show a little more company spirit, right? A lousy guess. Okay, well, don't tell me. Uh, I won the office pool. What in the world is wrong with you? You know your time down on Earth is over. Why would you leave Allison a pink rose? Because I... Now, let me I answer the I... question for you. You left it because you want to know you're still around. Well, you're not, kid. You are not, and you won't be ever again. here to arrest me. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you want to be? I warn you, I'll have to frisk you. <sighs> so what's going on? I got your message. Oh. But I was on a stakeout, so I thought I'd surprise you at work. Surprised? Uh, yeah, you... <laughs> I know things didn't end well last time. You mean when your partner clubbed me over the head with his nightstick? Yeah. Right. Is there anything I can do to make that up to you? Mm, I'm sure we can think of something. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, um... Anything at all? Yeah. Well, there's nothing like a little atmosphere, I always say. Beautiful woman, candlelight, and of course, music. <laughs> Doc, they're just little candle thingies with strings in them, and little wicks, you know, and some perfume. They're not exactly hand grenades. That seemed to have a very profound effect on some people. Well, yes, they have a very good, very wonderful positive effect. Not wonderful for everybody. What does that mean? Lucy, you remember when we got married, I asked you to trust me? Yes, of course I remember that. Trust me. Of course I do. Do I you remember that I asked you to please have those candles tested? 
Yes, you did, I but think I thought... they should be tested before something else happens. So you're saying something did happen? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so maybe something bad happened, and maybe it was because of one of those candles, or maybe not. Doc, don't you see? I I've seen nothing but good, good effects. I mean, from, from Ian to Victor and Mary to even Chris Ramsey, for goodness sake. What are you saying? Are you saying you believe that the candles are cursed? Livy, give me back that rose. Why is this rose it's so important, Allison? What's it have to do with all the candles and spells? Nothing. It's not from Rebecca, it's from Rafe. Oh, what, you mean he's back here, too? Not exactly. Then what exactly? Libby, just give her the rose Stay back. Stay out of this, Jack. What? Allison knows what I mean. Well, I don't. I think you carried this way too far. More magic, Allison? Libby, he came to me in a dream and he left it for me, and that's the only thing I have left of him. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jack? When's the last time someone's left you a present in a dream, huh? Oh, Libby. Can't you see how dangerous this is, Allison? Dreams are mixing with reality in your mind now, just like they did for me. Libby, no. calm down. And you, down. Jack, hanging on to that stupid camera that, that takes pictures of people from a century ago. What about ago. you? You think your behavior's normal? Yeah, in this case I do, Jack, because I lived through it. And you lived through it with me. Excuse me. You know, I just forget it. No, no, listen to me. I thought you understood that I was under Caleb's spell, just like Allison is learning her witchcraft from Rebecca. All I understand is the only one who is really out of control right now is you. So be it. <laughs> Stop it. No! Uh, give right. it! No, uh, Allison, I'm warning you. Something bad is no. gonna happen. Hey, Will, you don't give me that! Stop! Stop. 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 Anything about curses, Lucy, that's your territory. Oh, gee. Thanks. No, a no, lot. I don't mean it like that. Okay. I know that. How about this? What if, what if you just tell me exactly what happened? Well, I can't go into details. It's just that a patient had an adverse reaction. Okay. Could you be any more vague? Well, actually, I could, but I can't give you the patient's name or tell you what happened. It's just that. The patient lit one of Rebecca's candles, and then the patient went off the deep end. I see. So couldn't the patient have been already headed off the deep end to begin with? Could be. Okay. Okay. I think I know where you're headed with this. Not that I agree, but I, I kind of get it. Cursed. What? It just occurs to me that's not the first time I've heard the word cursed in the last couple of days. Actually, Ian, before he left, said to me that he thought poor Charles was cursed. Oh, Doc, you know, that poor man just lost his wife. Of course he believed everything was cursed right now. Yeah, but you've thought about it, though, haven't you? I mean, look at everything that's been happening. Vampires, angels, God knows what else. I mean, let's face it, Lucy, poor Charles is starting to look like the Bermuda Triangle. You know, it's a nice place to visit, but... Mm -hmm. So which, which... You're, you're saying that now the candles are otherworldly? I don't know what to think, Lucy, but... I have learned, after being with you all these years, that if the universe is talking to you, it's a good idea to listen. Oh, no. So the universe is talking to you again? Screaming, Lucy. Screaming. Lucy! No, stay I, away from me, Allison. You're gonna be okay. okay. Stay you're away. Okay. Allison did this to me, Jack. You saw it. You're my witness. Now, no, Allison, I didn't. never do anything to hurt you. She's your friend. Uh, well, something caused me to get hit on my head. I didn't imagine this bruise. Let's just get you home. No, Jack. I thought we were on the same side fighting for the same cause. I thought we agreed that something strange was going on here and we had to help Allison. Okay, I just think we know we're fighting first before we start setting things on fire. You think I'm crazy, don't no, you? No, 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 I never no, said that. No, that's what it is, isn't it? We're standing in front of a barn filled with witch's candles and magic potions. And I'm the crazy one. Look, just calm down. No, I came here as a friend. All I wanted to do was keep Allison away from harm. And now you guys are turning it back on me. Now you're going to say that I'm I'm off my rocker, just like my mother. What are you talking no, about? No, no, no one ever that's what you're that. thinking, though. Hey, that's hey, what you're easy, thinking. Easy, no, it's easy. happening again. It's happening. I'm trying to warn everyone. No one's listening. Now I'll have to... 
take care of it myself. Hey, Livy. Oh, uh, God. Well, Jack, I'm I, sorry. I, I get... No, it's okay. I'm, I'm sorry. No, I... I'm, I'm going to go after her. Okay. It's okay. for Allison wasn't technically allowed, but there are loopholes. Uh, here it comes. See, I was just having this incredible dream, and Allison and I were dancing, and I felt her in my arms as if we'd never been apart. Lovely. The thing is, is Allison just happened to be having the same exact dream, and our dreams just sort of connected, and I just wanted her to know that, that I was with her. You know? <laughs> Come on, it was one lousy rose. One rose today, tomorrow a whole bouquet. You bend the rule one more time, and all hell is going to break loose, I'm telling you, and this is literally. Yeah, but if you could just see how happy that one rose made her. Let's have a reality check for a second. Your time with Allison is done. It's finished. You don't think I know that? You don't think I know that I am never going to be able to just reach out and touch her again? Then, I, then I'm not going to be able to talk to her or hold her. Do, do you know what kind of torture this is? That's why I had to do something, because you won't let me go back down there for five lousy minutes to, to say a proper goodbye. Now, it's my fault again. And don't give me that proper goodbye business again, OK? Well, that's why she won't let go. She's not the only one. Just 15 minutes. You want, please, just 15 minutes. You want I want now you want 15 else. minutes? Yes, please. I'm willing to do anything. Do you hear me? I will do anything. Don't, don't say that. Somebody might be listening. Oh, you know what? I don't care who's listening. I care. I am not kidding, Ed. I will do whatever it takes. So will I, kid. So will I. This was definitely an emergency. <laughs> I don't know what it is about you, but I just can't keep my hands off of oh, you. Well. <laughs> don't fight it. <laughs> Does this make up for the um, nasty bump on the back of your head? Uh, no. I'm afraid it doesn't. I, I think you need to. I think you need to try again. <laughs> So, the universe is really screaming at you, huh? Well, that's good. Maybe I've had an extreme influence on you after all. Well, it would explain some things that are unexplainable. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Maybe we're looking at this in the wrong way. Maybe there's a whole other way to look at it. Like what? Well, like that the town is filled with magic. Come on, think about all the things that have happened. Doc, we got, we got Christina back. And what about all the random, amazing, fantastic events that conspired, even magical events, that conspired to get us walking down that aisle? Oh, that was magic, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> what about the angels? We had angels in our midst. How many people can say they had an angel living right in their guest room? Not too many. It just makes me have faith. Maybe after everything, life is good. Lucy, you're the one who's always telling me, Doc, you've got to keep up your guard. I know. I have been the queen of the evil patrol in the past, but yeah. I just, I, I think I've mellowed. Because despite everything, maybe all of us in this town have been blessed. And, and you just have to take all the bad with all the good. Dad, thank God you're here. Are you hurt? They think I'm crazy. Everyone does, but it's Allison, not me. Oh, go away, Jack. You're defending her, and that makes things twice Look, as I'm, bad. I'm not leaving here until we get things straightened out. 
Right, right. Um, Livy, why don't you just take a deep breath, calm down, and tell us exactly what happened? Okay. I went to see Allison because I'm worried about her. She is tampering with something dangerous. Livy's convinced that Rebecca's candles are trouble. Really? Yeah, we read about Rebecca's history, and she was put to death as a witch in the 1800s. She was convicted of murder. After being suspected of witchcraft, okay? She made spells and potions and poured all of her black magic into her candles. So Libby thought Allison was going to do the same thing, and she started a fire. You what? The candles were evil, Ted, so I burned them along with all the potions and spells and all the incantations, and Jack thinks I was wrong. Hey, I just thought it was there was a better well, way to handle it. Well, you know what? At least we're all safe now, because it's gone. They're all gone. It's over. Not only am I not sending you down to Earth for even 15 seconds, but you're going to pay for that stunt you pulled with a rose. You're in conscious duty right now. Do you understand that? Starting right now, you're on it. <clears throat> big deal. And continuing for 200 years. How's that, big mouth? I don't care. You know what? You, you can make me scrub the pearly gates from top to bottom with a toothbrush, and if I see a way I can reach out to Allison, I'm going to do it. I'm warning you, Rafe. What? What, what is your problem? Isn't it supposed to be all about love thy neighbor up here? Yeah, well, it's a little too much loving and not enough working. You better straighten up and fly right, or you're going to face severe consequences, I promise you. Ooh. Allison, I am sorry that I didn't get a chance to say a real goodbye. I keep seeing your face and the look in your eyes, and it kills me that I hurt you and I can't just hold you and comfort you. I'm gonna keep trying to get back to you. And you know what? I will find a way. just us. It's the very last moment. And if this is all the time that we have, that's all the time that I need. Time for what? To memorize you. Memorize your face. Be with you, do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Wherever you are, I will be there. You will always be my angel. Forever. Yours. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. Next, Port Charles. You think only a disturbed person goes around twitching her best friend's things, right? And you think I'm crazy, too. Actually, I don't. I made them. You made them all in one night by yourself? Yeah. Will you do me the honor of becoming my wife? You're watching SoapNet's Port Charles Marathon. All five of this week's current episodes back-to-back, -back, only on SoapNet. A marathon.